Hey everybody, I'm Brian with Servo City here to show you how to build a slide system utilizing X-Rail. As you can see here, I've got a piece of X-Rail and I'm going to show you how to build a very simple slide system utilizing these components. So let's go ahead and begin. First, we're going to grab a 545-360 right there. Next, we're going to get four of our mini V-wheels come in a four pack. Next, we're going to grab four of our 632 by 0.562 socket head cap screws. That is part number 632116. Next, we're going to get four of our number six lock washers. And finally, we're going to get a pack, they come in a four pack, of our mini V-wheel spacers, and that is part number 633177. Now we're going to go ahead and begin assembly. First we want to grab our mini V-wheel, grab one of our mini V-wheel spacers, slide those in. Next we're going to grab our socket head cap screw, slide that through the spacer just like that. Next we're going to grab our number six lock nut, so that's you should have that just like that now. Next, we're going to bolt that to one of the protrusions that are coming off these 545-360. We're going to go ahead and screw that on. But you don't want to tighten it down yet. Just snug it up against that lock washer just like that. We're going to do the same thing for everything else. So we'll put these together real quickly here. Once again, our spacer, our 632 screw our lock nut on and on the other end there screw that down once again just snug it down not too tight because we're going to need to loosen them once again grab the other components here two lock washer number three and finally, the last one, slide that through. And there we go. Now that we have our mini V wheels mounted, we're going to go ahead and slide it on the X rail. See here, as you can see, you can mount it a couple different ways. You can mount it this direction, or you can slide it on this direction. So, depending on how you're wanting to build your slide, you've got those two options. Next, what we're wanting to do is we're going to squeeze the opposing wheels together, just like this. And we're going to go ahead and tighten these down. And we're going to do that for both pairs. This way, it gets a nice firm mount, or mesh, I should say even, onto the X-rail. So as you can see there, easily slide it back and forth and now you're ready for mounting additional x-rail if you have any questions at all please shoot us an email and we'll be back to show you some other helpful tips